That's country star Marion Morris and Alicia Keys. Curtain went up moments ago. CBS Television Network, KDK TV2, watching it on Comcast tonight. And, well, folks, she won her first country award earlier tonight at the Grammys. Big night thus far. And tomorrow night on Rob Pratt, Monday night at 10 o'clock, I will give you a complete recap. But I just wanted to come back one more time before we check out some of the other performers still to come. They're going to have Lady Gaga and Metallica sing a duet. Also still to come, a tribute to Prince and George Michael. But in golf earlier today, it was the 18th hole. As he stood back and just enjoyed one of the most beautiful sights in all of golf with a very comfortable lead, Jordan Spieth had a tremendous, but he called it, boring round of golf today. All but one hole he had an opportunity to birdie, and he ended up with a 2-under-70 today and a four-shot win over U.S. amateur champ Kelly Kraft to capture the crystal trophy that is the AT&T Pebble Beach Pro-Am. So congratulations on a great couple of days of golf in that beautiful place that is Pebble Beach along the Pacific Coast in Northern California. Now, at the Grammys tonight, so far, Keith Urban, Carrie Underwood just absolutely knocked it out. Great stuff. Also, James Corden, your host from The Late Late Show, seen every night after Stephen Colbert on KDK TV2, CBS Television Network. His version of the Grammys karaoke, Jennifer Lopez, John Legend, Keith Urban, Faith Hill, Tim McGraw, even the beautiful baby daughter of Jay-Z and Beyonce, Blue, came over to say hello. But it really was anchored by the great Neil Diamond as they did a rendition of his classic Sweet Caroline. Good stuff. Also, Beyonce. She and, of course, her husband, Jay-Z, in attendance tonight with their daughter, Blue. They're expecting twins. Didn't stop Beyonce. She was introduced by her mother. She hit the stage, and she put on one of the best performances, very strong, at the 59th Annual Grammy Awards. Katy Perry recently also doing a fantastic job tonight. But the one thing that I will take away from the first half of the Grammys, he always brings his A-game. Bruno Mars, just incredible tonight, went down off the main stage talked to the audience, and just literally slung nothing but pure star power, singing at times as though, well, folks, you could hear a pin drop in the room because all eyes and ears on one of the greatest young performers to ever hit the stage. And I've said this before, growing up, James Brown was truly the beat of my heart, always my favorite. It got me into dancing. It got me into funk, rhythm, and blues music. It got me where I am today. He is the first performer that I have seen Maybe Prince in his early days, and even maybe Michael Jackson, but no one has even come close to bringing that kind of soul to the stage in his live performances since the late, great James Brown. Bruno Mars, just on the launching pad of what is going to be an epic career. So there you have it. And if you're wondering how you can find out all the winners and actually hear what they have to say, tune in tomorrow to Charlie Rose and Gail King. It is the CBS Television Network, CBS This Morning Show, and also Larry Richard, John Shumway, and Steve Futterman, CBS Radio News. They're going to have everything on the KDKA Radio News in the morning tomorrow. That's about it, folks. I'm going to go back and check out the rest of the Grammys, and I hope you will, too. I hope you had an amazing weekend. And speaking of great music, now, tomorrow night in the 10 o'clock hour, along with recapping the Grammys, we are going to be joined by Charlie Pappas from Spotlight Productions. Rock and Remember is coming to the main stage, the Benetton Center. You can go to the box office and get your tickets now. Hermits Hermits, part of the British Invasion with Peter Noon. He will be there. Also, Gary Puckett and the Union Gap. And also, Terry Sylvester of the Hollies. And on the stage, Dennis Stefano, the Buckinghams. Kind of a drag. Yeah, all of that going to be talked about tomorrow night with Charlie Pappas, and I highly recommend that you read all about it, timesonline.com. First thing tomorrow, it's Scott Tatey along with Megan Miller, who did with a complete recap on the Grammys as well. So good night from the main stage that is the Pratt Pat Jim.